Let's talk about sunscreen. Damned if you use it and damned if you don't because the new research says that although it protects you from skin cancer and you should use it, a compound, a chemical compound in most of the sunscreen, the commercial sunscreen, is killing the coral reef of our planet. And Nick, this is of a lot of importance because we see it in many occasions that we come with great you know, chemical breakthroughs that protect us from diseases and we don't really think about the implications and the impact that they will have on the environment. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of like the micro beads that they use for face cleaners that are just flushing into the ocean and creating this small cap of plastic. The same way we do this, now we know that this compound called oxybenzone, that we already know that it's harmful for humans. It's, it creates hormonal changes and that's why many beauty brands are actually facing it out from the formula of, of sunscreen, but it's still present in half of the commercial brands that we have in the stores. And the research from the University of Central Florida went in to look at the concentration of this chemical oxybenzone in different areas of, the, of Hawaii and the Caribbean, and they saw a correlation, real correlation in between the bleaching of the corals and the reduction of the area that the corals cover with the concentration of this chemical. And let me give you some science behind it. Sure. There's a DNA damage directly uh, you know, direct, directly related to the presence of this chemical. How it works is that it traps the larvae of the coral in its skeleton. So it prevents it from floating around and covering bigger areas Spreading. of the, of the seafloor, so it contains it into small areas. And also, that's for the larvae. For the adult coral, it changes the DNA and it be, it's the main cause of bleaching that then is the main cause of dying. And if we kill a coral reef, then we kill a whole section of the ecosystem and the, it's the base of the food chain and we don't care about it too much. No, you really don't hear about this often. Oftentimes you'll hear about dynamite fishing literally exploding uh, underwater and doing huge damage to coral reefs. But this is something I think is very important to talk about because a lot of people don't think about it and everyone puts sunscreen on and all these people are swimming in the ocean. It's bound to do some sort of damage. It is. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration declare that we are right now in the third ever global coral bleaching event. That means that it's a major bleaching of the coral all around the, the world, in every ocean around the world. And it's, it's really dangerous because the implications of global warming and ocean acidification combined with our use of chemicals that we don't research enough to know that they will end up in the water, it's creating this accelerated, accelerated death of the coral, which has very, very critical implications for the well-being of the planet. Now, let's put that aside for a moment. We already know that this chemical is harmful for humans. Although it's effective for protecting and filtering UV rays, we know that it has been linked to allergies and hormonal disruption in humans. And even though there's documented cases, FDA has not been able or motivated enough to do a full investigation on the side effects of this chemical. In the meantime, is one of the most used chemicals in the sunscreen that you probably use every weekend when you go to the beach or when you go outside. You are protecting yourself from skin cancer, as you should. We're not, we're not blasting the use of sunscreen as a surfer, I endorse it. But we need to be vigilant and try to use the most ecological possibilities of the products that we use so we don't damage the environment. But we want to know your opinion below in the comments section. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the Lib TV too.